I know exactly why people are overlooking the Seattle Seahawks. Exactly why. First of all, proximity. It's always the case. It's always the case. The outpost of the Pacific Northwest. Just ask any Trailblazer fan, any Washington Husky fan, any Oregon Duck fan, any Oregon State Beaver fan. Just keep going. Now, Seattle Mariners. It would be nice if one of them won a championship like the Seahawks were able to do. Okay. But then we paid attention to them for the Legion of Boom and because of Russell Wilson, along with Pete Carroll and Marshawn Lynch. Who does this team have? Let's take a look at the other teams that we're paying attention to in the NFL. Okay. 49ers. Okay having been to the Super Bowl more recently, and they have a ton of fantasy football players. And again, that's a metric that people pay attention to because that's the casual fan. Okay. Yep. Okay. And Brock Purdy is kind of an outlier to that. Then you got Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. You've got Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. You've got Josh Allen and the Bills. You've got Tua Tunga Vailoa. And the Dolphins, you've got Lamar Jackson and the Ravens and even Trevor Lawrence. And when I say even him, he's a young pup. But Trevor Lawrence has the juice. The Seahawks have Geno Smith, who won a comeback player of the year award fully healthy. He basically came back from anonymity. You could say mediocrity if you want to be mean about it. I say lack of opportunity. That's it. People don't believe that this guy's a Super Bowl quarterback. They don't believe it. They don't. And maybe DK Metcalf's on your team. Maybe Kenny Walker, Kenneth Walker's on your team. Maybe Tyler Lockett's on your team. But he's throwing touchdown passes to Jake Bobo (laughs) up there in the Pacific Northwest. Hey. This is why I'm telling I'm telling you I'm shooting you straight. But guess who's five at two? Guess who doesn't care about all that stuff? Guess who probably spins that up and throws it to the people he always tells to compete about? Pete Carroll. What was the line about Pete Carroll from Jim Brockmeyer again? What was it again? He's the world's oldest teen, America's oldest teenager. America's oldest teenager. Because uh, Dick Clark is no longer. Because with Dick us. Clark is no longer with us. That's it. That's exactly why you're overlooking the Seattle Seahawks. Let them keep winning. Next up for them, this is a great week nine game. Seattle at Baltimore. Let's go. At, whoa, and the Seahawks just made a trade. What do they got? What do they do? They're, ac- you, they're acquiring Leonard Williams from the Giants. That's it. This is what wow. John Schneider does. <laughs> this is what he does. He keeps feeding the system that he knows Pete Carroll runs and what Pete Carroll needs. This is not going to be one of the sexiest ones. I bet you more people will pay attention to Leonard Fournette signing with the Bills practice squad today than this trade. This trade is significant because this is what Seattle does. The defense that you just heard Darlin say doesn't get attention. This is what they do. Second round pick in 2024 and a fifth round pick in 25. Not messing around. Right up the middle. Go and get Brock Purdy when you get him in your house. Go and beat this team that you're now in front of through eight weeks. I love it. They are smart. They know what their system is. They know who they are. And Schneider knows how to feed it. And Pete Carroll knows how to execute it. Well done. I like it. Love being on the air with breaking news. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 